Hi everyone. Welcome to my live video where we will be talking about Ryan Dorsey, who is Naya Rivera's ex-husband. So before we get into the reading and into the video, I just want to cleanse the energies really quickly and say a quick prayer. Thank you, Father God, for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions, the energy, thoughts, minds, and emotions of those watching this video. Thank you for opening up the channel so that I can get a good reading on Ryan Dorsey and Naya, R Naya Rivera and see what is going on with Ryan Dorsey. Does Ryan Dorsey know what happened? What role does he play in this situation? Thank you for speaking through me. Thank you for allowing me to be your mouthpiece. Thank you for also just allowing this live to be fun, educational, and uplifting. So good morning, everyone. I know I'm on really early. I typically come on at like 11 at night, not usually 11 in the morning. So here I am. Before we get into the video, I just want to let you all know that I am available for personal readings on my website, lamartownsintero.com. So check my check out my website. Um, this is my website. So once you've reached this page, you know you are on the correct website. You can scroll down and schedule a reading with me via the Schedule Now button. Or you can go to the store section and directly purchase your reading from the store section on my website. So if you would like a reading, here you are. This is where you would go to get a reading, okay? Um, and yes, I'm available for readings and it's priced from most expensive to least expensive, okay? So thank you all for being here. I hope you all, all are doing well. Welcome to my live stream. Does Ryan Dorsey know what happened to Naya Rivera? Now it's interesting because a lot of you have been asking about Ryan Dorsey, and I think in my first Naya Rivera reading, I mentioned something about her ex-husband, and maybe he had some involvement, possibly, so I figured why not just do a reading on him and see if he does. So um, I do want to preface this video by saying a few things before we get into the reading as well, uh, but also follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook, at Lamar Townsend Tarot. Make sure, of course, you follow me as well on my TikTok, Hit the join button to become a member member of my YouTube chan channel um, and get exclusive access to content. Also, make sure you check out my second channel on Vimeo, V-I-M-E-O dot com slash Lamar Townsend Tarot. So with that being said, let's get into the reading, you guys. Let's talk. Um, my look today. So my eyeliner is uh, used by the Juvia's. Juvia, Juvia's Place palette called the Festival, or wait, yeah, it's called the Festival. Um, my lips are by Urban Decay Lip Liner in the color Demolition. Thank you to whoever just donated. Um, eyeshadows by the Norvina palette. Eyebrows done by Norvina as well, and yeah. Also, my eyeliner was done with the Juvia's Place uh, Festival Palette, too. So, yes, thank you all for being here. I know I was feeling my colorful fantasy today, my LGBTQ fantasy, right? So I want to say a few things, okay? According to my tarot, Naya's body is in the lands. I am getting trees or a house. I am also getting her body stabbed by sticks. It's eight of wands I'm talking about. Okay. So let's talk about this, actually. Let's talk about a few things before I get into this reading. So, okay, I want to preface this by saying a lot of people get really upset when a lot of us psychics and tarot readers do readings on these big media, you know, events. Um, and to that, I have to say, a lot of us actually do want to help. I am one of them, you know, I do, you know, we don't know who are watching our videos. Maybe there are, you know, police people or, you know, people connected to the police force or something like that that do watch our videos. And maybe we can actually give them a clue as to where she is. So I do want to say that a lot of us psychics are coming from, a, well, I can only speak for myself, but a lot of us psychics do genuinely come from a good place of wanting to help. That, that's our jobs. But once again, I can only speak for me personally, okay? Second of all, I want to say be very careful, you all, of these comment section psychics, comment section tarot readers, okay? 
these are the types of people who comment in you know the comment section of psychic videos and they give their own opinions and their own you know readings on what they believe to be true you guys have to trust the reader you're watching okay the reader that you're subscribed to their intuition their style of reading okay that's what you need to focus on I'm not gonna lie some of the comment section psychics and comment section tarot readers are sometimes accurate y'all sometimes are on it most of the times though i kind of breeze past the comments even even in my own comment section i'm gonna shade my own comment section even in my own comment section i will breeze past your comments and say okay you know like i'm the psychic this is my channel you know so i'm going based off of what what i believe so i have that's all i have to say about this is you know just be careful when it comes to that kind of energy and a lot of us i can only speak for myself personally do come up from a place of genu genuinely wanting to help now there are probably other psychics who jump on the bandwagon to get more subscribers and blah 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 that's their thing okay so i just wanted to say that if you're new to the tarot community the psychic community welcome okay we all a lot of us come in peace, okay? I'm trying to do the, the alien. We come in peace, honey, okay? I know we're aliens. I know you think we're crazy. I know we, you think we're conspiracy theorists, but we come in peace, I promise, okay? With that being said, hi, everyone. How's everyone doing? Exactly. Comment section psychics. Uh, that's their name, honey, the comment section psychics. Yeah, you guys have to be careful. Of the, I'm glad you all know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm glad you all already know. This is why you're my people. These are my people. I love you guys because you already know. Like, oh, well, I'm not saying you specifically, Topaza. It was just kind of a coincidental kind of, I already was going to talk about this. Before I even, I already knew this was going to be something I said at the beginning of the video. You just kind of jumped in ahead of me. So that's what the happened with that. So no no shade, no specific shade to you. So that's what I want to say. All right. Um, I'm going to take into account your theory. Um, I did say in my first reading that she is, I believe, in the water. Um, I was looking at other psychics just because I was curious and, you know, there were a lot of different theories and many of the videos I could not get fully through because it's just too many different theories, but I believe she's in the water. Um, and I did see one month, but I'm going to push it because remember at the end of the reading, I said something about she may be found in one month because I got the number one. I'm going to also push it back to one year. It may take up to a year to find her, possibly. But I do think she's gonna be found. But this isn't about that, okay? That This isn't what, the, what this is about. I wanna know about Ryan Dorsey. Now it's interesting, you all. Let me look at the comments. Oh, understandable, yeah. I think she's in the water too. Yeah, yeah. Now it's interesting, you all, because I had to look up Ryan Dorsey because you guys know genuinely these people I do readings on, I don't know anything about them, honey. Okay, so I had to look up who Ryan Dorsey was because I also wanted to get a good look up what he looked like because you can really get a good sense of someone's spirit and soul and energy when you look at them and look at their eyes and things of that nature. I need to charge my phone or else it's going to die. Who cares about that right now? Actually, I think I kind of do care because you guys did some donations. So, okay, hold that thought. Quick commercial break. I'm going to go get my charger for my phone. Okay, I'm back. Back, back again. Hey. Okay, so I looked up Ryan Dorsey. Oh. Someone doesn't want me to do this reading, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it.
<clears throat> okay. So, Jesus yeah. Christ. Okay, we're we're back. We're focused, right? Hi, Jackie. What's up? Dang, no proper burial. I get weird vibes from him. Yeah. Hi, Caitlin. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Make sure you guys like the video. So I had to look up Ryan Dorsey, Naya Rivera's ex-husband, because I mentioned him in, uh, in the first reading I did on Naya Rivera. By the way, if you want to watch that first reading, the, the link to that reading will be in the comment section below. Um, I also probably need to put it in the description section, so I need to remember that. But with that being said, so I looked up Ryan Dorsey, and I discovered that he's actually from West Virginia, because I was picking up something about his energy, and I was like, why do I low-key feel like I've maybe come across this guy before, or like, his name sounds familiar, like, there's something familiar about his energy, come to find out he's actually from West Virginia, specifically Charleston, Charlestown, or Charleston, West Virginia. Now, if you guys know me, I'm actually from Virginia, not West Virginia, but just Virginia in general, not too not too far from Charleston. Now, what kind of threw me off was his age because I think he's like 36 or something like that and I'm only 28, right? So kind of a bit of an age gap, but there's something familiar still about his energy. So I'm wondering if maybe his name sounds really familiar. So I'm wondering what the connection is with that. I don't know. I found that interesting. I was like, maybe I have kind of crossed paths with this dude at some point. I don't know. But I say all that to say... I want to know, does Ryan Dorsey know what happened to Naya Rivera? That's the question we have. So it's interesting as well because Ryan has been seen, as you all saw in my thumbnail, with his son, Naya Rivera's son, you know, smiling, you know, looking happy and stuff. But he's also been seen looking, you know, at Lake Peru to find Naya Rivera. So he seems to be going as expected, I think, right, when it comes to how we would expect him to react to the situation, but I'm just wanting to confirm, is is he genuine? That's what I want to know. I feel like there's something ritualistic about it. I'm not a psychic or anything like, like that. It's just that this seems to happen near Mercury Retrograde or in the Mercury Retrograde. Right. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the reading of Sean Dorsey. All right, or wait, Ryan Dorsey. I mean, that was weird. I think I used to work with a Sean Dorsey. Because then I thought about that, and I was like, wait, maybe I'm thinking of Sean Dorsey. But then I was like, no, there's something about Ryan Dorsey. Like, the, there's some sort of connection there. I don't know what the connection is, but who cares? I want to know... Does he know what happened to Naya? Let's see. Let's get into the reading. So if you just are getting in the room, we already did Sage, but I'm going to Sage again. Um, and just ask to be protected. Thank you, Father God, for cleansing and clearing the energy in this space. Thank you for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions. Thank you for protecting the energy, thoughts, minds, and emotions of those watching this video. And thank you for allowing me to see the truth. Thank you for being my mouthpiece. I don't know why I feel like they've been on water together before. Like, I feel like maybe they've been boating together. Like, they've been in a body of water before. So I, I don't know why I'm picking up on that energy. Like, maybe there's something that happened the last time they were on a boat together or something like that where Naya maybe made some sort of comment and it kind of like does make, there is a connection there. I don't know what the connection is with Ryan and this, the, what I'm seeing. Um, yeah, it's almost like I see them on floaties, like they're in a pool of water, but I don't know what the significance of that is. But I'm look, I'm like, I'm picking up on the energy and it seems like Naya Rivera says something specifically to Ryan. 
And there's a connection about them being in this body of water, whatever Naya Rivera says to him, and what's happening now. I feel like Ryan is thinking about this or knows about something like she said, maybe connected to water, maybe how she would like to die in water, you know, just, oh my God, I, I would love to die, I don't know, pass away in water or something like that, you know, just in passing, you know, I don't know. That's kind of what I'm picking up though. And it's just kind of like, Ryan seems to be cluing in on that, or I'm at least cluing in on that energy, all right? I think they fought a lot over the sun though. Cause I think, I think Ryan and Naya fought a lot over their son and maybe the parenting over their son. I do see Ryan, I think Ryan wanted full custody over their son. I do see that. Hi, Stephanie. Oh, that's Nia, she dated Big Sean. I heard she was crazy not to say she means to, deserves to die. I didn't know she was missing. Yeah, make sure you guys like the video. I think the Illuminati did it. I think that um, Ryan wanted full custody of their son. There's something where Ryan, I don't know if he necessarily worried about her, his son being in, being with Naya. Like, I don't know if Naya had a tendency to just do weird stuff, maybe due to mental illness or mental issues. Um, I don't, I also feel like maybe Naya had like an anger ish, anger issues or temper. Um, so I feel like they fought a lot over the, the their son. That's what I'm seeing. I feel like there's going to be a lot of connections to this reading and the first reading I did on Naya Rivera. So if you haven't seen that, you should probably watch that. All right. Um, yeah, I think Ryan wanted full custody of their son. But I don't know why, how this plays a role into it as well. I'm trying to feel the energy of it. I don't know, you guys. I feel like they fought a lot, and it's almost like Ryan. I don't know why I pick up on Ryan kind of saying something or insinuating something along the lines of, you can do whatever you want with yourself or with your life, but don't do it to my son or don't do anything to my son. Make you know, Don't let anything happen to my son. That's what I'm seeing. So I don't know if Naya also had a tendency to be around certain people that Ryan doesn't want his son around. And it kind of feels race related as well, a little bit. I'm not saying Ryan is racist, but I may be a little prejudiced, maybe that kind of energy. That's what I'm feeling. And I actually think that Ryan had a tendency to make somehow Naya feel like she was a bad mother. Sometimes. Because I often, like, I'm seeing that Naya would often, like, cry about her son or cry to her son. I mean, she loved her son. She loved spending time with her son. She really, really did. Her son was her joy. I said that in the first reading that I did for her, all right? I do see that. Um... Hmm. 
Mm. Does my husband know what happened to Naya? I think he may have an inkling of what happened. The two liners, everything. Thank you. Hi, Zuri. Hi, 60 people in the room. Make sure you guys like the video. Something tells me Ryan's not so sad about Naya's death. He can now have custody and peace. This is hella sad. That's what I'm feeling. Is that gray lip stain? What did you use? Um, it is brown. And I used Urban Decay uh, lip liner in the color Demolition. Maybe she was dabbling in substances due to her depression. Could be a factor with Ryan when in custody. Ryan won in custody. That could be true. Does he know what happened? I think he may have an inkling, you guys. Because I don't know why I see him. I know there were pictures of him recently on... This could just be a metaphor. But there were pictures of him out in, near Lake Peru. I don't know, searching for Naya or just, I don't know, connecting with the water. I don't know what, what he was doing, but... There's some, I don't know why I see him making a phone call and then like someone in the surrounding lake area answering his phone call. So I don't know what that means. If whoever, this once again could just be a metaphor that spirit is showing me. I don't know if this person who he's calling that is connected to the lake or in the surrounding area of the lake is... I don't know what they're like. I don't know what this metaphor is about. Like, I don't know if this person is helping him trying to find her or if they are allegedly maybe accomplices. I'm not sure. I don't know why I feel like his phone needs to be checked. I would check Ryan Dorsey's phone. I'm seeing something about that. It may not be important, but it, I don't know. There may be something there. I'm not sure, but I do see that. It's just so sad I couldn't imagine having to fight over my son, how painful it must have been for her. Yeah, I mean, I feel like her family's very sad. I mean, I feel like her family is genuine, but there is something about Ryan that is just a little, it's kind of, there's something that's suspect around it. It's kind of cover-up-ish, I feel. I don't know. I'm not saying he's directly involved, but there's something suspicious, I feel, connected to Ryan and Naya's disappearance. So, because I'm like, I definitely don't think it's Naya he's calling. I don't know, he could be calling Naya's phone, but didn't she leave her phone in the car, allegedly? You know, I, I don't know. But that's what I'm seeing. Um, he needs his phone checked. The, his phone needs to be checked. That's what I pick up. I feel he goes to the lake because something was told to him, and then he got into some type of worry or anxiety, and then he gets there and calls for reassurance about something, something of that nature. Yeah, it could be that kind of energy. I don't know. It's just like... Once again, I'm not saying he's directly involved. I don't know if he's directly involved, but there is something suspicious about it. I wonder if he has a connection to the people that work at that that like work at that boat facility. Like, is he friends with the owners or something like that? I'm not sure, but Maybe he pushed her over the edge by text with the phone. Ryan seems controlling, not empathetic at all. 
When I was a kid, my mom used to always cry like every single day. It brought me stress as I was only two years old. I never exactly knew what was going on exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm seeing. Because I'm wondering, did Ryan also play child support? Tanaya? Because I'm wondering if they were fighting over that before she disappeared. I kind of picked that up. So, um... Mm. I'm wondering if her body was moved now that I'm like cluing in. I think her body may have been moved. I don't know what that means. Wow. Yeah, I'm wondering if her body was moved, you guys. That's maybe why it's so hard to find her. Now I have a really deep, sinking, gut, weird feeling in my stomach. Ugh. Yeah, I'm wondering if her body was moved, y'all. Mm. Mm. But I feel like it's buried in the ground. Like, it's buried. If it is moved, that's what I'm seeing. Wow, that's a good point, Lamar. I know as many men that can have spoken or rather have their child support than paying. Exactly. Lamar, you're spot on. My heart hurts for a son, I know. Wow. I'm There's foul play with this, you guys. I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to what I said in the first reading. I know you guys don't like what I said. I know I got a lot of dislikes, but it is what it is. This is my job, and I have to do my job. I think there's something where allegedly of uh, beforehand it, I think, was staged as a suicide maybe, but now it's becoming such a big global kind of thing where it's like, I think they moved her body and it's like the more they tamper with the evidence, the more, I don't know. There's something weird going on. And remember I said in the be in the first reading that I think I heard her say, like, I don't want to be found or something like that. I'm wondering if that was maybe her that said it or like, why she said it, or if it was someone else saying it. I don't know, you guys. I'm kind of done with this reading. I just don't like the energy anymore. I don't like the energy, you guys. I'm done. Her body was relocated, so the mid site is not found exactly because the site connects Ryan and maybe other people at the boating place. Yeah. Lamar, you're amazing. Remember you said she was, like, spending above her needs. Maybe she was pushing for more child support. Maybe there's money involved. Maybe. Maybe her co he coerced her into suicide and she did it. Yeah. Night isn't alive, sadly. I can feel that much. Lamar, can you do a reading on Wayfair? Hmm. Whether or not Ryan knew what was going to happen or not, he should have stepped up and made some noise when something fell off in the first place. Yeah, that's a good point, Zoe, because I feel like even if that's all that he, like, even if that's the only role he played where he kind of knew something was going to happen, if she did allegedly commit suicide, you know, 
but I don't know why I'm seeing maybe her body was moved. That's why I'm like kind of confused. I'm confused. That's what I meant by phone. Maybe he spoke to her on the phone. Suicide makes no sense. She wouldn't leave her son alone on the bo a boat, though. Yeah. I don't know, you guys, but I'm done with this reading. Do you guys have any last questions? I'm going to have to tap out early on this one. What questions do you guys have about Ryan and Naya? Reminds me of Unsolved Mystery. She probably was in some shit with the wrong people. Yeah. Suicide makes no sense. She wouldn't leave her son alone on a boat. If she really wanted to take her own life, why take her son? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I, that's what I told y'all. I told y'all that in the first reading. Yeah. Also, why did she leave all of her clothes on when she was in the lake? Good question. All y'all are making good points. People need to go somewhere else to get famous and going straight for Hollywood. I agree. Jeffree Star became mega famous and all he did was make a few makeup palettes, you know? Like, it's you don't always have to go the Hollywood route. I agree. Child, mm. Well, this was some tea I wasn't expecting to drink today. Are you okay, Lamar? Wishing you good vibes. Yeah, I'm okay. I just, I mean, I'm kind of done with the reading. I just don't like the energy. I got a really weird feeling at the pit of my stomach. So I think I probably need to sage in here, I think. I just don't feel good about it. Like, I don't know. Like, before I did the reading on Ryan, I felt okay. Like, you know, you can probably tell the difference, you know, in when I first started the video, but after reading on his energy, I just don't feel good for some reason. Like, I just don't. Something feels off. It does, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, something feels off to me. I don't like it. Hi, Queen Mark. Poor kid, man. Jeffree Star needs to get his head out of his shadowy ass. What else is going to happen in 2020? Oh, I'm so exhausted, child. Hello from NYC. Love you, Lamar. Thank you, Andrea. Shout out to NYC. She really loves her son. Is very strange. She leaves her son alone in a boat in the lake at Imanite. Exactly. Do you need a glass of water? No, I'm good. I told you something weird off. That's how I felt looking at his picture yesterday. Yeah, something is like off. I don't like it. Why the? Oh my God. Why though? Is he a psychopath? He might be, child. I understand how unsettling this feels. It's making me feel a bit sick to my stomach. Yeah, I know, right? Let's let's sage, you guys. I'm done reading on Ryan. I can't do this anymore. Let's sage it out. Let's say a prayer, honey, and close these portals, girl. Okay, Ryan, we're done with you. And we just pray for her son, you know, once again. We pray that we find her. We pray for her son. And her family, that's who we need to focus on, I think, at this point. Ryan, I think, at this point, it may be a suspect, allegedly. This is all for entertainment purposes, by the way. All right, thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the space, Father God. Thank you for closing the portals and allowing the energy to go back when it came, connecting to Ryan, Dorsey, and naya rivera thank you for protecting my energy my thoughts my mind and my emotions protecting my space protecting the energy thoughts minds and emotions and spaces of those watching this video in jesus name i pray and thank you amen amen and amen i feel better already you guys i do we just need to pray it out i feel better y'all how do y'all feel Lamar, that feeling in your stomach is Ryan, Ryan's anxiety about going to jail for Naya's death. Ooh, child, maybe. 
Because I'm like, oh, I don't like this feeling. Oh. Some adults are probably the kids from past celebrities, so that's already in the game when they were born, so it might not be their choice. Okay, I mean, that's true. Is Naya's parents famous? Tom, my stomach, why my stomach started hurting? Yeah, it's time to have a stage shower. Me too, feel nauseous, yeah. Thank you, Lamar, you're welcome, amen. Yes, cleansing, honey, yes, amen, amen. Whoever just liked this live, your mama hate a hoe. I hate, yeah, I don't, we, who cares? There's gonna be more dislikes, by the way. People don't like us reading on this type of stuff, but this is our job as psychic readers, okay? Get over it, period. Okay. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Okay, everyone's good now. It may just be guys, oh gosh. Well, at least you're bringing in the funny. I love that. Thank you for making us laugh. We definitely need to laugh. Thank you for doing this reading. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for speaking the truth. Period. Exactly. Thank you, Lamar. This is so sad. I know it's really sad. It's very sad. This is very conspiracy theorish. I'm going to stick to that. It's very Natalie Wood. Very, you know, that energy. That's what I'm feeling. I don't like it. But I'm moving on. We're done with that. So this is my reading on Ryan. Thank you all. Um, I'm going to get into the personal readings now. So if you guys have some live questions you want to ask, I am taking live readings. So send your send your donations to my PayPal, or I do also accept Super Chat and Cash App. Um, I do prefer PayPal. This is my PayPal link. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's my PayPal link. And also, this is my Cash App. So it's $10 for one question, 20 for two questions, and 30 for three questions. I think one of you already donated, so I'm going to get into your live question. As long as they go to God and expose or change their lifestyle, then they will be able to overcome anything that tries to hurt them and their family. That's true. Lighting my f &M incense. Yes, light your incense, honeys. Yes, Zuri. Thank you, uh, Sarah. I can see you feel uncomfortable now. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you guys like the video. I'm saging two activists. Everyone is like, I'm saging. I'm saging. I don't blame y'all. Check out Ouija Mac. Ooh. Don't trigger me. Don't say Ouija right now, all right? Have a good day. Hope you feel better. Thank you, John. He used her and doesn't really like black people. She's mixed. He used her. Mm. All right, you guys, let's get into these. Um, let's get into these questions. I think someone did donate. Thank you, Nichelle, for your donation. Let's get into your questions. <clears throat> All right, you guys, if you guys have any questions while I'm live, make sure you send your donations in. All right, get them in while I'm live. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the stuck when you pass reading in Jesus' name, my friend. Thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. All right. So, Nichelle's first question is What is to come in my relationship with Danielle? We have culture, religious differences. What is to come in Nichelle's relationship with Danielle? What's to come in Nichelle's relationship with Danielle?
Mm. I mean, I think maybe the difference is like there's like something about needing to learn each other's love language, needing to learn each other's way, like how you express your emotions. So there does seem to be some like block here. It's like, I feel like you're trying to understand this person. But I don't know why I also feel like maybe you feel like you don't fit in with his culture, fit in with his family or his friends. So it's kind of issue with like, how are our lifestyles going to work kind of thing. Um, but I don't know why I feel like, oh, I think my camera died, y'all. Hold on, I have to change the battery. Sorry, I'll have to change my battery. All right, we're back. <coughs> These things can never stay put. Like, I don't know what else to do about you guys. Jesus. Yeah, but I don't know why I feel like it's you trying to like understand them or him or whatever gender they are. So I mean, I see you guys. I see the two of you continuing to like talk and things. Um, like I see the relationship continuing, but it's just gonna take like a big learning curve, learning each other's languages, learning each other's like you know, mainly you learning their way of expressing love and expressing their affection. Like, I feel like it's going to take just a long while for you to learn how this person's ex how this person expresses themselves in that way, in those ways. Does that make sense? That's what I see for your first question. I love... I love the early lives. But the late night lives, Lord, we are too much sometimes, right? Christine Tanil, people always have thoughts like yours after someone is killed, but never before. Don't let your mind play tricks on you. Y'all are crazy. Okay. Yes, I for sure do not fit his lifestyle at all. Every friend and family member is Muslim and not born in the United States. Yeah. It's the 2 a.m. lies where activists I'm conservative in the morning. Yes, Lamar, keep it real and show the world how it is. No trying to be pretty all the time. Yeah, exactly. Okay, it is a guy. Not conservative. Salt and pepper conservative. All right, that's what I see about your first question. Let's get into your second question, which is, how will our culture and religious differences play a part in our relationship in the future? I want to show and... Danielle's religious differences and cultural differences play a part in their relationship in the future. Salt and Pepper, I don't know why that reminds me of like a lady in the, in the streets but a freak in the bed. What song is that? Is that by is that in the song Yeah by Usher? I don't know why I'm like hearing that song. How will their religious differences and cultural differences play a role in their relationship moving forward? I feel like there's just certain things about his culture, once again, that you're gonna have to learn that you may also have to participate in as your relationship deepens. Because I feel like there's certain cultural or you know celebrations that 
he may participate in have to participate in that pertains to his culture, his religious views, or his family's religious views. I feel like, for example, if you were to get married, it's like there would have to be a certain protocol that you would have to follow pertaining to his culture. So you may not have as much control over how the wedding actually goes, or you may be dealing with like overbearing parents who want to control the wedding. Like it can be that kind of thing. That's what I see. Um, so it's going to take a while, I feel like, for the, maybe specifically the father. It's going to take a while for certain family members to get used to maybe the fact that you're not Muslim, you're not of the same culture. But like I said, it's going to be a learning curve. I think you're going to learn certain things about the culture, how to be, how to move, you know, how to, you know, uh, behave yourself or present yourself to be accepting in his culture and his religion, but also stay true to yourself. That's what I feel. So I think you're going to find that balance. It's going to be hard at times because you're going to have to learn new things and be like, do I really have to do this? But I just see him kind of being like, well, if you want my mother to like you, then yeah, kind of thing. That's what I feel. So does that make sense? I think that was the only donation that we had. Y'all are quiet this morning, honey. Maybe I need to come on at midnight like usual. That's that's usually when y'all are turned. It must be too early, honey. Y'all haven't had y'all's coffee. Okay, but does anyone have any last minute questions before I leave? Did anyone else want to donate or because I am going to leave. You're welcome, sweet pea. Hi, Nina. I got to go to church. Girl, I need coffee like me out. I like, already drank mine. Now I need to eat something. I took my supplements and multivitamins. I didn't do my green drink, though, so I need to do that. But okay, I don't know if you guys don't have any questions. I think I'm going to sign off. This is going to be a short live. Good idea, Lamar. I'm getting coffee. As a Muslim myself, when it comes to dating, you don't need to embody and behave as if you are one. All that I require is that you are yourself and are respectful and responsible. That's it. Yes. Yes, Monique. You just put your question in the PayPal payment. Show us which supplements you take. I take biotin. I take prenatal vitamins. I take fish oil, um, cinnamon. I also take turmeric and uh, ginger every day. Oh, and I also take, did I say I take a multivitamin too? I take a multivitamin. And when I drink, generally drink a green drink every day as well, a super green drink, that's what I do. So us that covered. We know you do powder. Wow, well, very healthy, yes. Oh my God, why did I say that? I don't know why you said that. I didn't even answer it because it made no sense to me. We know you do powder. What does that mean? But okay. <laughs> All right, is someone donating or no? Because y'all got to go. I had to go. So you're going to go live tonight? I think I am because I was supposed to talk about um, Azalea Banks earlier today, but I fell asleep. Or la yesterday. I was supposed to do a reading on Azalea Banks yesterday, but I fell asleep. I was too tired. So I think I'm going to talk about her tonight. Unless between now and later on tonight something happens, some major drama happens, I think we're going to talk about Azalea. Unless something else happens. We'll have to see how the day goes. 
because you know it's 2020, honey, so anything can pop off, okay? They could find Naya Rivera, you know, by the end of today, you know, the way 2020 has been going. So, you know how that goes. I need to make me some coffee. Lamar, let's do a live later tonight so we are extra lit and ready to blow. Yes. Yes, only cinnamon powder. Exactly. The only powder I do is cinnamon powder. All right. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, y'all seem a lot more lit later at night. Also, the only, I guess you could call it drug that I do, I do smoke marijuana. I mean, listen, I love the green gons, okay? Every now and then, I do. But other than that, honey, I'm good. I don't trust the powders. I don't do the pills. I like having control over myself. I may do shrooms every now and then because that's a natural kind of thing. Not too much, though. But other than that, I'm good. I'm not, you know, I'm really not into drugs and stuff like that. I do also like a glass of tequila every now and then. Well, not a glass of tequila, a shot. Or a glass of wine, honey. I love a glass of wine with a good, a nice good salad. Mm, I'm hungry. All right, let me not make my mouth water. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I love I love marijuana. I do. They just decriminalized it here in Virginia. I wish they would make it legal here. Gosh. Do you know if they made it legal in Virginia? I probably would have a marijuana business, honestly. Or at least marijuana products, I think. Because I do want to like get into that, honestly. So also, do I even seem like a person that does like white powders and like, you know, Percocets and stuff like that? No, I don't. Hell no. Could you imagine me? I would be a hot mess. I'm already a hot mess now. Bye, Aisha. I don't do powders, no. I'm coming up there to visit, and we will do a joint. I love the brownies more. I love uh, pop brownies or edibles. What's the tea with Azalea Banks? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. Apparently, she wants people to stop screaming broke with expensive taste. But that's my album, honey. I love that album. So that's going to be hard, Azalea. Thank you, Sweet Pea, for your donation. Mouth-watering like Wendy Williams. Exactly. This was an accidental drowning. She hit her head when she dove in. We only burning sage and weed in 2020. Exactly. Your makeup is cute. Thank you. We're not Do Nicki Minaj or Doja Cat. I, I'm assuming you're insinuating they do powders and stuff like that. I just, I don't know. I, ugh. Oh. I don't know. I find it low class, honey. I know people find weed low class, but I find powders low class. I found I find Percocets low class. That's just me, honey. That's just me in my opinion. All right, you have yours, I have mine. Anyways, let's get into Nichelle's question. But I'm not being funny though. I genuinely do kind of find it low class. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm not gonna judge you if you do it, you know, I'm not. <clears throat> Okay, that's good. That's actually perfect. No, I'm not saying weed is low class. Weed, I don't, weed is definitely not low class, in my opinion. Powders damage your organs. There should be global holidays for meditation, weed, and sage. Vote for me for president, and I will make it happen. There really should be. Powders and pills, exactly. Doja was live, was on live, coked up. Oh, girl. Mm. Mm. 
Thank you for cleansing and cleaning the energy of this. I have nothing to say to that. Thank you for cleansing and cleaning the energy of this deck from the past readings. In Jesus' name, I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, amen. I told y'all that in the Joja Cat live reading that she like she kind of has issues with drugs. Which, by the way, I had my like most major predicted it, apparently. Everything I said came true in that reading. So, check out that reading, speaking of Doja. All right, Nichelle's question is, what is the block that is preventing me from getting to know him? Daniel. What is the block preventing Nichelle from getting to know Daniel? What is the block preventing Michelle from getting to know Danielle? How does some pills are basic? What is the block preventing Michelle from getting to know Danielle? Everything you say becoming true, period. That Coke will have you looking ugly fast. <laughs> oh, my God. Why did that make me laugh? That Coke will have you looking ugly fast. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just funny. Thank you, Monique, for your donation. Who are you talking about, Coochie Fuchi? All right. Let's get into um, Nichelle's question. All right. Mm. I'm wondering if maybe you feel like you don't fit his standards or his family standards or his culture standards. <clears throat> like maybe you just don't resonate with certain things or you don't connect with certain things. So it sometimes like puts this energy out where it's like, well, are we compatible really? That's what I feel. I don't know why I also see pregnancy. Like, I don't know if you want to get pregnant or if he wants you to get pregnant, maybe. But that's what I'm seeing. But yeah, it's like, it's the religious, that's the block is the religious, you know, factors. It's the personal beliefs. It's the personal philosophies that you two differ in. That's what I feel. Also, this difference in terms of love language, how you express each other's love language. I feel like one kind of way of like showing love language for him would be like you spending a lot of time with him, with his family, going to family functions, having fun, you know, like, you know, being involved. That's one way I feel like he would understand your way of like, I love you, so I do this for you kind of thing. I don't know why I just got that. Does that make sense? I see that. But it's like you may have to show him how to love you because he comes from a different culture and background. So I think you need to kind of show him the way you want to be loved, you know, through your actions, maybe through your words. You know, you need to figure out what your love language is. How do you like to receive love? That's what I feel. Does that make sense? Coke is big in London. It's everywhere. Ooh, child. I just can't with Coochie Fucci in that, in that picture. I think cigarettes should be banned from the U.S., not TikTok. Like, our president rather ban a platform filled with creativity and not cancel six. Yeah, I don't think they're going to cancel TikTok, though, or ban it. I don't think Trump is going to ban TikTok. I unfortunately pop pills and powders occasionally. My job is extremely stressful. Please don't judge. We're not judging. We don't care. We still love you. What tarot, you guys always ask what tarot deck this is. I don't know what it is. It's one of my favorites, but I really don't know what it's called. I lost the packaging for it, so I can't, and I've had this for years, so I don't remember what it's called. But it's one of my favorites, and I want to buy another one, but I need to find what it's called. I think I've had this for like three years, two or three years. Yes, I can see that. Okay, let's get into um, Monique's question. Pills and potions. 
I still love, I still love, I still love, I still love, I still love. The only reason why I'm singing that is because last night we did a, re or two nights ago, we did a reading on Nikki, and I was singing that song. And we're talking about pills and potions right now, so it's just like, I thought it was kind of appropriate, but maybe not so much so. All right. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the second when you pass reading. In Jesus' name, I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay, so... Um, Monique's question is, hi, my name is Michelle. My question is, is my mother Jacqueline still around the earthly realm? Is Michelle's mother Jacqueline still around in the earthly realm? Is Michelle's mother Jacqueline still around in the earthly realm? Has she been passed away for a while now, Monique? Has your mother been passed away for a while, Monique? Lamar, I'm putting a public list on my Amazon together filled with tarot, oracle, and astrology stuff. Would you like me to send it? Yes, please. Was Ryan and Naya's married? What does that mean? Thanks, Zuri. I hate powders. It's slow class, but I take sleeping pills every night, and it's 2.30 a.m. I still can't sleep. Oh, I mean, I take, what is it called? I take melatonin sometimes. So, I mean, I'm not judging that. I'm really not judging you all. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have even said that. I feel bad because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, Monique, thank you for being honest, but I'm pretty sure you're not the only one who does stuff like that. So maybe I should have kept that to myself. I don't know, but that's what I feel. All right, but let's get back to your question. All right, anyways, I don't know. I mean, is she still around in the earthly realm? I don't know. I just keep picking up energy where I feel like she's been passed away for a while. So I don't know. I don't think she's as earthbound as maybe she once was. But there is something about her passing. I don't know if it was due to health related reasons. Um,. Or maybe due to some negative routine that she had, a negative habit that she had that kind of eventually got the best of her. It could be something like that. Um, so I feel like maybe that keeps her earthbound a bit, but I don't know why I feel like she's kind of transcended a bit. I feel like she comes to visit Earth every now and then. Like, I feel like she comes to visit you. I know she comes to visit you, like, you know, every now and then, but... Um, yeah, that's what I feel. I feel like she visits you, yes, but I don't think she's earthbound. No. There is definitely something where spiritually she does need to like evolve more. But I don't know if she's totally earthbound. That's what I see. I would light a candle for her or something like that. Or, like, say a prayer for her, you know, every now and then. Because, like, she's transcended, but I don't know if she's, like, she's gone to the light. I don't think she's gone to the light, no. It's kind of weird. She's almost, like, in, in a limbo. Does, does that make sense? Thank you. Okay, yeah, because I feel bad now. I'm like, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Lamar, we know you're not judging, just your personal opinion. Thank you, Jesse. I'm high anxiety, thoughts never stop, bad dreams when I sleep. That's what your mom visits you, yes. Yeah, I feel like your mom visits you, but she is, she's not earthbound, but she is kind of maybe stuck in like limbo, I guess you could say. So I would light a candle for her, pray for her. Um... I don't know, maybe play her favorite music. 
I'm trying to think of ways to like, but I feel like you definitely need to pray and just let her know it's okay to go to the light. Cause there is something about her feeling like she has not finished something on earth and she's like stuck in limbo. That's what I see. Watching Lamar's Daily Live is my favorite part of the day. Oh, thank you, Yuna. We all need to pray for her to go to the light. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, child. This was a very heavy live, honey. Wow. Didn't expect all this to come out. But I feel better than I did earlier. I hope you all feel better, too. Um, if you guys have any last-minute readings, send your donations in. Otherwise, I will be leaving. I don't want to leave. It's, like, so early. It's only 12.39 p.m. Usually, I'm used to being 12.39 a.m. and being on live. So that's interesting. And it's interesting because I don't have any, like, readings to do right now. Like, I'm pretty, like, I got all my readings done, so I, like, have free time. So I'm like, do I want to film another video or, what? like, what content do I want to post next? I don't know. We'll see. I kind of want to do a video where I, like, do a look. I don't know what look I want to do, though. Nervous about what, Monique? Just you hear all the celebrity deaths. Do a summer look? Ooh, I like that idea. I'm going to write that down, a summer look. Yes, with a lot of yellows and reds, honey. A nice either nude or red lip summer look. Too many celebrity deaths, something doesn't feel right. John Travolta's wife, Elvis's grand Oh my god, I did hear about Elvis's grandson. Who is John Travolta's wife though? Summer look. Elvis Presley, grandson, John Travolta, wife. Lamar, do a summer look and dress up. Ooh, that would be nice. I do have some cute dresses. Oh, if you like makeup, you should check out my YouTube channel, Dark Star MUA. Okay, I'm going to subscribe now. Yes. Oh, this should be interesting to look through. I subscribe to your channel. Thank you for that. No, just six months. Oh, it's been six months. Oh, okay. Mm. Another re reader said Maya was killed. You mean Naya? <laughs> Zuri said choo choo. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, Elvis Pre Presley grandson died. Yeah. A hot orange eye with a gorgeous flowing top. Yes. Do you have notes? a notes planner? I do. But I like texting myself. It's easier. Do reading on John Travolta's wife. What happened to his wife? Yes, do a look. Yes. Nelson Mandela's daughter died too. She did. Let me write her down. Zuri, no, ma'am, I know what you think. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my gosh, you guys are a hot mess. You're like can't with Mrs. <laughs> no, thank you, Lamar. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, she passed in December, and I feel like she visit, visited me three times, and I haven't felt her for a long time. Mm. Maybe that's why I feel like she's still kind of earthbound. I would light a candle for her and pray for her. I don't think she's fully crossed over. I have an insight giggle. I can't stop. I'm so childish. Are you going to do Zodiac sign readings? I am. Girl, this morning live, I can. Uh, y'all are different in the morning. I kind of like y'all in the morning. Y'all are more loopy. Thank you. I make sense. Trust me. She passed young. Oh, I'm sorry. I knew it. You're welcome, Monique. All right, you guys. I don't want to leave. This has been like really fun. Some of y'all need y'all's coffee. Because y'all are loopy, okay? Y'all must have just woke up. Anyway, this has been my reading on Ryan. I'm going to sign off. We will talk later, all right? Zoe said, used to be bi, but now I'm just hetero. My mind is a mess, y'all. I can't even type right now. I have to do a double take before I press in. Tupac reading. I want to know if he watched over Jada. Yes, Tupac reading is... Ooh, maybe I'll, do, maybe I'll record a Tupac reading. Hmm. Let me write that down. That's a good idea there. Yep. Let me go ahead and write that one down. All right. Yeah, I'm going to write that one down. Okay, you guys. With that being said, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching and listening to my reading on Ryan Dorsey, all right, make sure if you would like a personal reading from me, once again, you check out my website, Lamar Townsend Tarot, where you can purchase a reading directly from my website. This is my home page right here, so once you've gotten on this page, you know you're at the right um, website. You can schedule a reading with me via the Schedule Now button, or you can go to the Source section and directly purchase your reading from my Source section, all right? Remember, everything is priced from highest to lowest. Okay? Okay. So thank you all for being here. And thank you all for listening and watching. Once again, we pray for Naya Rivera's son. We pray that she's found. And um, we pray for her family. All right? Until next time, until the next video, love and light, make sure you subscribe if you're new to my channel. And make sure when you subscribe, you hit the bell next to the subscribe button and hit all notifications, which means whenever I upload a new video, you'll get a notification, okay? Make sure you hit the notification bell and also make sure you hit the like button, okay? Love and light. See y'all in the next video.